It is 12.10 in the morning right now. I just want to record this video real quick and get it up for you guys. Um, the first round just ended. The Giants, they did what they did. The NFL did what they did. First and foremost, on the draft as a whole, that was the most interesting first round in recent memory, in my opinion. There was a lot of trades. There was a lot of... No. There was a lot of trades. There were certain picks that made me question what the teams were doing. But for the most part, a lot of these picks kind of made sense. You know, they kind of fulfilled needs, and it, it was what it was just what made sense. But let, let's get right to the Giants, man. I'm happy with the first round. I don't want to put a letter grade on it, but if somebody would ask me grade the Giants first night, I'd say we had an A first night. And a lot of it has to do with the trade that, like, nobody's talking about the value we got back. So at 11, and of course, I hate the Eagles, I hate the Cowboys. I hated the Eagles and Cowboys a lot before tonight. I wanted to face the Eagles week one because of what they did to us week 17. Now I want to face them week one because of what they did to us week 17 and what they did to us in this draft. Devontae Smith was going to be on the board at 11. They saw that interdivisional trade between Eagles and Cowboys. They stole Devontae Smith. Okay, that's fine. I hate y'all. We're going to hang 50 on your head come this season. Especially now with the weapons, our offense ain't no joke. You know what I'm saying? So hate the Eagles, hate the Cowboys. The Giants traded down with the Bears. And according to Gelman, they've been talking with the Bears since around pick 7. So that was in talks. They received a future first rounder. A 2022 first round pick. Okay? Of course, the 20th pick in this draft. The 5th pick, which is pick 164 in this draft, which the Giants did not have a 5th pick. So that's a plus right there. And a 4th next year. Why is this a fleece, you ask? And why am I calling the fleece in a great trade? And for the first time, get them the trades down. It's a huge success. Because of that first rounder. The Jets traded up to 14 from 23 with Minnesota. I don't think they got a first in return. That's almost the same amount of spots that they moved up. In addition to that, and Judge is the one that said this. So I'm paraphrasing from Joe Judge his words. The, the first rounder next year is so valuable because of the unknowns in this year's draft. A lot of players opted out of the season. A lot of players stayed an extra year for the draft. You don't know what's going to happen. That first is so valuable to us, especially since the Giants are expecting to make the playoffs or make a playoff push. It's the Bears pick. That pick is probably going to be better than the Giants first round pick next year itself. We're probably going to be picking in the late teens, early 20s, realistically. The Bears are probably picking anywhere from 10 to 15. Incredibly valuable. I think it's super underrated. That alone puts me, like, just very happy with how we did in the draft. Then at pick 20, we take Kadarius Tony. And initially, I was, I want to say confused. I was just thinking about it. I wasn't happy with it, but I was not disappointed with it at all. I wanted the Rashad Bateman at 20. Bateman ended up going to 27. The more I thought about it, the more I liked it. And Tony, you know, I said this live on stream with KB as well. He's a receiver that I wanted for the Giants in my last mock draft. Now, don't mistake this, my what I said in the mock, as me saying Tony's a second round pick because he's not. In the mock, I said he's a receiver that should go in the first, and he went in the first. He is my personal fifth best wide receiver in the class, and he was the fourth one to go. My wide receiver rankings, Jamar Chase, Jalen Waddle, Devontae Smith, Rashad Bateman, Kadarius Toney. Right? Right there. He went exactly where he was supposed to go. And when you think about him in this Giants offense, I like it a lot. You got the big physical, you know, wide receiver in Kenny Galladay is the number one. <laughs> you got Sterling Shepard, the pure route runner in the slot. You got Kadarius Toney, the speed demon with great shiftiness on the outside. And you really, you guys really need to go and check him out. He is somebody that garners a lot of attention from opposing defenses for a reason. And um, the pro con for Jalen Wilder, for example, was always Tyreek Hill. One of the pro cons for Kadarius Tony was also Tyreek Hill. Now, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. But the guy's speed and agility is real. And he's going to be a massive, explosive weapon for this Giants offense. And I like it a lot. It's a great pick at, um, at 20 in terms of value. And it's just a good pick overall. You look at the Giants offense now. Saquon Barkley at running back. <laughs> Your three starters are going to be Kenny Galladay, Sterling Shepard, and Kadarius Toney. And by the way, right now, Kadarius Toney, I think, slides into Darius Slayton's spot. And then next year, you know, when I do think we get rid of Shepard or Shepard leaves, he's going to slide into Shepard's spot. That's another thing I love about him. Versatility. He operates in and out. 
he's going to be great, versatile weapon for the Giants, where they put him in the slot or the outside. I do think we're going to use him on the outside this year, though. Like his measurables as well, by the way. And, you know, those are our starters. We got Terry Slay and Rotain. We got Kyle Rudolph and Evan Ingram at tight end. This is what I like. You know, when you, when you got Evan Ingram who can't catch as basically your fourth or fifth target, <laughs> you're doing fine, bro. Daniel Jones is set up with great weapons. And it's not over for the offensive line, guys. And I am a hog molly guy. There's a lot of offensive linemen left in this draft. Offensive linemen kind of dropped as a whole. There's also a lot of edges left. Y'all know I love Aziz Ojolari. He's, he's now in the second. You know what I'm saying? Wyatt Davis is in the second. Literally every single inside offensive lineman is in the second still. I'm loving it, right? I'm absolutely loving it. The Giants had a great first night. The more you think about it, the more you start to like the pick. And you really need to give credit to um, Judge and Gettleman. This trade down was a, master sp was a masterpiece. And I'm going to kind of read to y'all a couple of quotes to maybe help you feel a bit better about the night. According to, Ar according to Art Stapleton, this is what he said. Um, Joe Judge on Darius Tony. The skill and the person has to add up. He says the Giants vetted Kadarius Tony all the way back to high school. That's how much time and effort they put into this guy all the way back to high school. He was also recruited by Jeremy Pruitt at Tennessee. Jeremy Pruitt is current, or currently our senior defensive assistant on the team. And you just see the fit right there. Judge likes the fit and he's very particular about who he wants. We got somebody on the roster that was heavily recruiting him. We know what's up. Chris Pettit, the senior directive of scouting. They met with the Kadarius Tony at the Senior Bowl, and we all know the Giants love their Senior Bowl players. This is no different. And they said they had a long face-to-face -face meeting with him down there. He said they were all tired. The process down there was pretty strenuous, but Kadarius brought all the energy at that point. We loved him. We loved that he brought the energy to the room and to the conversation. You know what I'm saying? This was very clearly a team effort, so to speak. And, and Kadarius, when he was speaking to the media, you can tell that, and, and I, I use this to describe Saquon all the time. He's a giant in the sense that he seems honest. He seems, you know, very, um, you know, forthcoming. He seems like he's giving a genuine personality. I say that about Saquon all the time. Looking at Tony when he was speaking to the media, I got those vibes as well, man. I'm just, I'm just liking it, man. The more I think about it, the more I like it. Tony was a great pick in terms of value at 20. And a good pick overall, I think, is what he brings. He brings the versatility. He brings the speed, agility, shiftiness, explosiveness to the Giants. In my opinion, fifth best wide receiver. Got him at 20. I just, I don't see what there is to not like about this. And if you somehow, someway don't like the Tony pick, once again, I'm saying go, go check out some tape on him. Go check out some, you know, draft profiles on him. Your mind is going to be changed. And if that still doesn't change your mind, we got a future first, which is incredibly important in terms of value for next year's draft. Incredibly important. That first we got from the Bears is going to be better than the first the Giants have. I'm telling you right now, book it. That's what I got for you all today. Kind of like a quick reaction slash recap video. Um, this is going to go up in a, actually like an hour or so. So you guys are going to see this like 1 a.m. But put your thoughts down below. Let me know what you all think. And I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.